All right, so um, it's 11.30 at night, and um, I got a notification, an email earlier after I had pretty much done my video stuff for today saying that I hadn't done enough um, to remove content from my channel and that I wasn't cooperating and so forth and um, further action will be taken. Now I'm literally hanging on by a thread on the channel. I'm one strike away from them shutting the channel down. And there's, there's nothing I can do about it. I have no recourse whatsoever in this situation. So I just spent the last, I don't know, five to six hours nonstop since I got that email. Again, I was kind of done for the day, hanging out with my kids, my wife who had just gotten home from work. And I know people are basically telling me, well, that's too bad. So I spent the last six hours deleting about 70% of the content off of this channel. And I'm still not sure if I got everything that they want me to get. When I transitioned from the guy who did videos in the backyard and the guy who did videos in his garage and the guy who did videos in his bedroom, to the guy who had the studio and the computer and the better software so I could record and have an article in front of me to read. I thought that was a good thing. There are other YouTubers that do it. I, I mentioned um, Tim Pool, who has a political channel. Um, he's very well known. And he's got the text on screen as he reads it. I'm kind of emotionally spent. I don't understand why it took five years for somebody to tell me that I wasn't doing things properly. Because if I had known this, there's no way. Anybody who knows me knows that I am not intentionally trying to, to break any rules and so forth. Um, commentary when you have the text in front of you and the audience can see it and so forth. I thought it was helpful. That way uh, others could kind of see what I'm doing and then they could kind of see where I'm getting my crazy con conclusions from. I just never thought it would come to this. I mean, this might be over. Um, I literally, I, I'm, I deleted hundreds of videos. Many of those videos had thousands of views on them. Now, granted, I did maybe a little bit better in the old days, just with the phone, the outside thing that I used to do with the sunglasses, of course, I used to get crap for wearing the sunglasses. Why do you wear sunglasses? Because it's sunny out. That's why I wear the sunglasses. And then I moved indoors and I kept them on just because. Um, last year or two, it's been a little bit more difficult for me to see. So I wear these. Uh, I, all I can say to those who are doing this is that, and I'm having conversations with them, but they're not productive conversations. They immediately put me on the defensive as if I've broken laws and I need to fix the problem overnight. Keep in mind, looking through hundreds of videos, it's literally as if you're looking you know, for needles inside many, many haystacks, you know, then I have to worry about what thumbnail I put up there. Thinking that, you know, if it's out on the internet and it doesn't have any sort of licensing to it, well, I was told all the split 
thumbnails with two pictures. Those have to go. I think I got rid of all of them. I'm exhausted, all right? Um, I do this every day. I try to come up with decent content so people will watch the channel. 2020 sucked, okay? And it sucked for a number of reasons. It sucked because it seems as though the world is just closing in between all the lockdown BS, all the political BS, and the lack of fun and entertainment. And it was tough for me to talk about things in 2020. Uh, I leaned heavily on the media that was coming out and I put out those videos accordingly. I've been doing this since 2016. So if somebody has a problem with a video I did in 2017, and they're telling me about it in 2021, when I've literally done hundreds of videos since then, maybe thousands of videos since then, I don't think that is somebody who is being fair. All right, and you know, I do use this channel obviously to kind of earn some income. It ebbs and flows. It's really going to ebb now because literally hundreds of videos are gone. And people said, oh, this is what Rick Beato did when he got copyright strikes. Well, I'm not even using music. I don't use music in these videos. I know I'm not going to get away with using music in the videos, and I never have. I wish I could just start the channel over to some degree and keep the subscribers, but just start from zero. I was thinking of just deleting everything and just going to zero. But going back through all these videos, all the content that I put up, all the crazy original thoughts I had at that moment when I did the video, you can't recapture that. Do you folks understand that if I did a video June 17th of 2017 and I was in a particular mood about a particular subject and I had an original thought at that moment and it was captured in the video, you can't get that back. Hundreds of videos have been deleted. It's like history on this channel gone. Some of the videos uh, remain. I, again, I tried to correct the pictures or do no picture. Um, I just need you guys, if you watch this video, to understand that, you know, from the very beginning when I started this channel, and I was getting verbally abused all over social media because I had opinions that might have been contrary or just the fact that I had opinions at all it was a real problem for a lot of people. And I'm, I'm a real dude. I don't just say real music. I am. Obviously, tonight, I'm emotionally spent. And somebody just keeps saying, okay, that what you did? You didn't do anything because we went back and we found all this stuff from four years ago. All right. And these folks have been around for a lot longer than I have. All they had to do was send me an email. That's all they had to do was reach out to me rather than going directly to YouTube and saying copyright strike. To me, that, that wasn't cool. And yes, I responded. I just didn't know how to deal with this. So I've been dealing with it for, for, like I said, about five or six hours straight. And you may say, well, that's a small price to pay. Well, I, I still don't know if it's enough. Don't know if it's enough. We'll know in 24 hours. You know, I worked really hard at this and if I'm going to lose it, 
because, you know, I didn't know I was ignorant to something. I guess it's, it's, it's all on me, right? Again, my question is, other YouTubers do similar things. Maybe, you know, not the photographs. I don't know. But I do know that people will read news stories and the print is on the screen from whatever site. And they'll say this is from the New York Times or the Washington Post or whatever. And they'll read the story. And it appears in the video itself, the story. Anyway, uh, if the channel goes away, this is maybe one of the last videos you'll see. Uh, I put up some content today, trying to do more conversational content like I did in the old days, because that's apparently okay. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's it. I felt like I needed to get that out there tonight and... Um, Please, if you can help me, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, better yet, if you can go over to Patreon, because <laughs> if the channel isn't there to subscribe to, that's not going to really make a difference. But if you can go over to Patreon and support me over there, um, and I have to go somewhere else or rebuild or whatever it is that I need to do, um, that would be the best place to be. All right. See you soon, I hope.